AcuraHipHop.com, the reporting newspaperonline.com. Brother Russ. Yes, what, sir. What's going on, bro? Oh, good to see you, brother. Hey, man, I just realized it's the first time you came down to the building. Well, I, I've, I've been here before, but it's been a long time. It's been oh, a long time. Okay, because we usually meet at the library where I come to your place. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Well, since the um, COVID, I ain't been down there yet. Yes. I don't think they wiping everything down. <laughs> Especially, excuse me, I'm just a German folk. Tell everybody, man, what you been up to? Or tell everybody about the business that you own. Well, first, uh, wife and I are owners of a graffiti print shop up on North Hill, 739 North Main Street. Hey, man, and, um, I'm a stickler of promoting independently owned and operated black businesses. Thank Tell somebody you. why it's important that we support those type of businesses, bro. Oh, man, without economics, you can't build your community. Economics first, politics second. Hey, man, and speaking about politics, you do that too, right? Yes, sir. Brother, tell everybody if who don't know what you do for the city. Well, I've been blessed to serve uh, the ward I grew up in on the west side, Ward 4, for the past 10 years. You were supposed to die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I knew that. Okay. I seen you up there uh, last year. Was it last year? Cleaning up and everything with a whole group of brothers. Is that true? Uh, well, yeah. You know, man, uh, west side pride is real. Uh, and, I, you know, for that, I want to give a shout out to the uh, Maple Valley Merchants Association and Finette. Uh, because they've been, oh, yeah, they've been cleaning up every weekend for the past three weekends. Uh, Mark Greer, too. Yo, Fanatic is fanatic about it, though. Yeah, 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 she fanatic, is. Fanatic, I'm going to have to stop yes. by there. She brings so much, uh, she be smiling about right. things that's happening in that particular community. Yeah, she has a beautiful spirit. And that's dope, man. So listen, man, the reason for the season, man, it's voting time. Yes, sir. Now, this is a very important election for Black in Ohio, yes. and Black America. Tell somebody right. why it's important that we should get out there and vote. Well, you know what, man? It's really disheartening that we even got to uh, explain to people why we got to vote. You know, coming off of 400 years, 1619, all that our ancestors endured, um, the, the struggle during the 60s, and we see that, the, you know, the struggle is real and still exists. If somebody got to encourage you to vote, you got to do a heart check, seriously. Um, it's, the, it's the one equalizer where your voice is just as equal as Bill Gates, Donald Trump's, anybody else's. One vote, one man. I like that. One vote, one man. We need to somehow create that one vote and, and make it a one voice. You feel what I'm coming Well, from? I'll tell you how we do that. How we do that? Um, you know, I'm a Democrat. I'm part of the Democratic Party. But I'm black first. You know, when they... The injustices that have happened to our brothers and sisters here recently, they didn't stop to ask them what political party they were part of. They didn't stop to ask them what religious group they were part of. They didn't stop to ask them what degrees they had or anything like that. They just saw that they were black. So we've got to understand, we've got to come together, vote as a block. I like that. I like that. So um, I'm just going to go there. Are you happy with what's been going on in um, White House for the last four years? Oh, no. No, no. But you know what? I don't... Uh, let, let me say this, and this may sound uh, odd, but I know, brother, you being a spiritual man, you're going to understand this. God don't make any mistakes. So I thank God for Donald Trump being in office right now. And I tell you why. Because the cupboard is open and, you know, uh, the real uh, uh, the real expression is coming out, the racism that has been hidden uh, uh, or, or covert is now over. So again, Folks, if they got a question why they should vote, again, you got to do a heart check. Um, so I encourage everybody to study and learn about the candidates. And while I'm saying that, I want to say this. As I said, I'm a Democrat. We've got to stop voting straight ticket. You've got to know who you're voting for because they're smart enough. A lot of them will come over and register and, and run as Democrats. But you got to look at their, their policies and, that they practice. Now, uh, this November, there's a judge Judge John O'Donnell out of Cleveland, who's running for the state Supreme Court. Judge O'Donnell is a judge who couldn't bring a ruling in the 137, 136, 137 shots case up in Cleveland. So what we're doing is we're joining our brothers and sisters up in Cleveland and we're trying to educate our folks to let them know, do not vote for Judge O'Donnell, even though he's a, Dem excuse me, a Democrat. And I know uh, folks are like, oh, but you're a Democrat. No, but I'm black first. You better say it, brother. And I like that. That's the grand thesis of, of this particular cycle you're being having for Black First. Um, in closing, tell somebody how to get in contact. 
Well, you can reach me uh, on the city sale, 330-212-3034. Again, that's 330-212-3034. Or you can uh, uh, catch me on uh, email, ward4 at akronohio.gov. Thanks a lot, Rob. Thank you, brother. Thanks.